and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create arcs from circles. So the first thing that we need is a circle. I go to 45 to be angle and I will control when I drag it with the ellipse tool. Color doesn't really matter but make sure that you don't have a stroke. So hold shift and click on the X. Now create two points with the Bezier tool. It will give you a line when you hold control. Select it, go to object, fill in stroke. We've got a flat color and a stroke paint. And the width determines the thickness of the cutout. So if you, for example, don't want to have a cutout width at all, just turn the stroke style width to zero. It will be gone, but let me change the display mode under view. You can also press Ctrl 5. And there it is. It just has a width of zero, so it's invisible, but the path is still there. I'll press Ctrl D to copy that, click on it again, i hold Ctrl when I rotate that to the horizontal line. You can see there is our first line right in front of the circle. If you can't see it, press Ctrl 5 again to switch to the outline mode, select it, go to path, stroke to path. Now select it, and the circle, go to object, align and distribute. Let me open that menu right here. I've got last selected in a drop down and I align it horizontally and vertically. Now go to path and division. Let me delete one half of the circle and now again press Ctrl 5. There might still be a line, just delete it. We need our horizontal line. And again, make sure it's selected path, stroke to path. Select it all, align it to the center, path and division. I'll press Ctrl 5 again, and this is what we've got. Snapping is enabled, I can select it all, press Ctrl D, drag it around, hold Ctrl when I rotate it, and now we've got our circle turned into four quarter circles, and we can play around for example with the fill color, and you can see we've got these four separate elements. Let's just say you want to turn them into arcs. Let me just pick one of the quarter circles. I'll drag that over here. Then I select the ellipse tool. This time I hold Ctrl and Shift. When I am at the right bottom corner here, and you can see under path and difference, I can create an arc. If you want to make sure that all of the quarter circles or the arcs that you want to create out of them have the same size. Best way to do that is to just copy these circles with Ctrl D and place the other quarters right there behind the circles. So for every quarter circle that I add, I'll just click on the circle and press Ctrl D to create a copy. That means I've got four circles on top of these four quarter circles in the background. And now I only have to shift click on the circle and one of the quarters. And path, difference, I can drag it out. And again, shift click on the circle, then on the green quarter, path difference. And I'll repeat that two more times. Once again, I've got the snapping enabled in the top right. And there you go. This is the easiest way to create these arcs in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.